Good afternoon, drivers. Um, our schedule is still making it hard for us to meet face to face. Uh, so I'm setting another video to check in. Uh, I'm well aware that you continue to do excellent work for the company and I'm, I'm very grateful for your dedication. Uh, the fact that we continue to give great service to our customers uh, and deliver great quality is, is truly a credit to your hard work. Uh, and I'm, I'm proud to work with you all and uh, I'm, I'm very proud that you're a part of this team, so, so thank you. The reason for the video uh, is to give you a sense of what's happening with the business and, and what I see happening in the company over the next few months. Um, and I also want you to be uh, aware of some changes I'm going to be making uh, to respond to the challenges that we face. Uh, as you've seen throughout the summer, uh, we've been getting by because our customers have been taking advantage of the nice weather and serving guests outside. Uh, now, as the weather is turning colder, uh, fewer people are going to want to eat outside because you know nobody wants to eat in the cold and the rain. Uh, that means, unfortunately for us, that the pace of business is going to slow down uh, as we work our way through the winter. Uh, as of now, you should expect that uh, we'll be reducing the number of routes on the schedule as, as winter arrives. Uh, I'm hopeful that the city may lift some of the restrictions on indoor dining later this year, uh, which would be helpful because people would be able to eat inside. But in general, I don't really think that things are going to get better uh, until the spring of next year. Um, with that said, I want you to all uh, know that we intend to keep uh, as many of you on the schedule as possible. Uh, but you will probably share fewer routes as we move into November, December, and January, and even beyond, uh, really until it gets warm again. Um, unfortunately, just as the business is slowing down, uh, the support that we've been receiving from the government uh, is slowing down as well. Uh, you may have heard about PPP loans on the news or in the newspaper, and the Lobster Place received a PPP loan from the government back in April when uh, the shutdown was first happening. And that loan enabled us to increase your wages by $2 per hour. Um, so if, if before you were making $15 an hour, we increased your wage to 17 or if you were making 19 uh, we increased it to 21 uh, etc. Um, unfortunately, as of October 10th, uh, the PPP money has run out. And because of that, we now have to return your wage to their original level. So now, if, if you're earning 17, uh, your wage is going to go down to 15. Or if you're earning 20, uh, it's going to go down to 18. Uh, before you get too excited, though, th there is some good news to share. Uh, in speaking with Omar and Christian and, and looking at your time cards, it's become clear to me that during these uh, difficult times when you're taking you know, some more stops and, and the routes, the routes are taking longer than they used to. Uh, before COVID, you know, morning route took seven, seven and a half hours. Uh, now they're taking eight and a half. And I see that. And, and I know the challenges that you're facing with places not being open, uh, you know, and just in general, working now is more difficult. So to recognize that, I'm going to increase the pay from a morning route to nine hours times your wage from eight. What this means is that even though your wage is gonna go down a couple dollars an hour, your pay for each route will stay about the same. I'm gonna say it again, your pay for each route is going to stay about the same. Uh, let me go ahead and, and explain this in detail just to make sure you understand. If you currently are earning $17 an hour, you're paid $136 for each delivery route you're taking because $17 times eight hours is $136. Beginning this Friday, if you were previously being paid, for example, $17 an hour, you'll now be paid 15, again, $2 less. However, you'll be paid $135 for each route because $15 times nine hours is 135. So even though your wages are going down, your route pay will basically stay the same. If you have questions about this or, or I went too fast, you can reach out to me or you can speak to Omar or Chris, Christian. I know this can be hard uh, to, to understand when I'm doing it on a video. 
My, my, my plan is con to continue to monitor uh, the routes through the winter and keep track of how long they're taking. If the routes go back to being faster and shorter as we move towards spring and things start to go back to normal, uh, I may reduce the route pay at that time, but you know, your wages would be unchanged. Uh, we have to see how things go. I want you to understand that even though your route pay is not changing that much, uh, I don't make decisions like this lightly. Uh, every day I'm trying to strike a balance between keeping the company strong for tomorrow and keeping you and your families safe and secure as good members of our team. Um, you should know that everyone on the team is coming together and carrying a burden to see the lobster place through this. Every manager has taken a, a, a very significant pay cut. And uh, unfortunately, I've made the hard decisions to say goodbye to Karen uh, and Human Resources and also Teresa and Accounting. Uh, Saturday was their last day. So, you know, there, there are tough decisions being made. There are sacrifices being made by us all. But uh, in doing that, I'm confident that we get through this thing and we come through it better and stronger uh, and we get back to normal, hopefully next year. Going forward, uh, you should be aware that if you have question about your pay or your benefits or anything else that you might have brought to Karen before, you reach out to Omar and Christian and I. We're a smaller team now, but we're a strong team. And I'm very confident that we're gonna get through this thing together. Uh, when the virus is behind us, like I say, we'll be better than before. Uh, I wish every one of you and your families health and happiness. And even though I don't get to see you, uh, I am always thinking about you and every decision I make uh, is made with you in mind. Uh, and I thank you for your loyal dedication. You know, lots of people are so afraid of the virus that they don't get up and come to work every day. And I know you are, and I know what that means, and I appreciate it. Uh, if you have questions or concerns about this, of course, you can speak to Omar or Christian. You can call me anytime. My number is 917-855-0935. I'm serious. Call me anytime. I'm happy to talk to every one of you about anything. Um, so with that, I'm going to end my video. Uh, I hope to see you soon. I'm going to try to get in on a Friday morning early so I can uh, at least uh, give some of you a fist bump and show you how much uh, I'm missing you all. But best to each one of you and best to your families. Thanks.